Hi, Mike Scarborough Parts here. I'm going to demonstrate replacing this hot air choke on this Rochester one barrel BC carburetor with uh, one of our electric choke conversion kits. Our uh, CU1160L is our part number. And uh, it's a pretty simple operation. Uh, I only have one retaining screw here. There's actually three, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of, a lot of time taking the screws out. But we'll take the old one out. Um, and this one here, you turn the uh, thermostat clockwise to close the choke. Uh, that's important information on some of these if you're looking for a choke, uh, excuse me, electric thermostat. And that's what we want to know. But um, if you have one like this, uh, you're going to be good to go with this. There's some, some of the older ones had a, uh, the, the stove pipe mounted right in the center of the choke thermostat. Uh, this does not work on that one. Uh, these only work on 12 volt. So we're going to put this on here, we put the gasket on, and we're going to adjust it. Hold the throttle open a little bit so that the uh, fast idle doesn't uh, keep the choke open. And we're going to twist it clockwise until the choke just closes. And then we're going to do it in about another eighth turn to put a little preload on that choke valve. Okay? And then uh, 